next guest loves a good movie. Not just watching them, but making them. In fact, he's helped bring more than 200 movies to the big screen, and here are just a few of them. These movies, An Officer and a Gentleman, Forrest Gump, Top Gun, and many others, have grossed over $10 billion and won 163 Academy Awards. They all have one thing in common, this man, Hollywood executive David Kirkpatrick. After 30 years in an industry that shies away from family values, David decided to turn his attention to projects that promote a more positive vibe, devoting the rest of his life to what he calls spiritainment. David Kirkpatrick is the former president of Paramount Pictures and the former production chief for Walt Disney Studios. Today, he's the co-founder of Good News Holdings, a film company dedicated to family-friendly entertainment. And David, we welcome you to the 700 oh, Club. You. How great to have you here. Nice to be here, Terry. You have had such box office success. Why are you taking a different direction or changing a little bit of where you're going now? Well, the key is really to try to find an alternative voice out there for so many people thirsty for better material. When you look at the world or look at America, 75% uh, of this country believe in a Judeo-Christian point of view. The next largest quadrant is uh, agnostics and atheists at uh, 13%. So who is providing that entertainment? That's what we're about. Well, David, why are we having such a hard time getting that message through to Hollywood? I mean, why, not just Hollywood, television. Right. I mean, the whole entertainment world just seems saturated with negative stuff. Well, I think, Terry, you know, at the end of the day, you've got to remember that there's a double uh, return on the investment. You've mm -hmm. got to remember that we've got to be a kingdom builder and do the right thing, but we also have to, in the public arena, make money. And I think what happens is, is that in Hollywood, they're not bad people. You know, I'm, no, I'm not here I... to judge anybody. But the fact of the matter is, they just don't understand. Between L.A. and New York, that's where it all happens. And meanwhile, everybody else is the flyby state. Mm -hmm. But the flyby <laughs> state is the, you know, is the country. It's yes. the majority of the people. The majority of the people that go to box office that make up about $10 billion a year, it's about 95% are Christians. Yeah. 95%. And yet they're not getting the, the stuff like To Kill a Mockingbird and Chariots of Fire that might inspire them or teach their kids, etc. Inspire is the great word. That, you, you miss that, I think, in a lot of what you see today. Talk to me about spiritainment. What is that? Uh, well, spiritainment on its basic level is what we consider entertainment that matters. It's entertainment, but from a Judaic Christian point of view. Mm -hmm. So, gosh, I mean, Lord of the Rings, which was done by the great uh, J.R. Tolkien, who was an inkling, you know, with C.S. Lewis, a Christian group of authors back in England in the 1940s, mm -hmm. uh, C.S. Lewis doing Narnia. I mean, look at the incredible success of those two Christian classics, uh, you know, in the box mm -hmm. office. So now there's an interest from Hollywood in that. They just don't know how to get about it. In pre-1950, uh, Cecil B. DeMille made all the sort of big tentpole mm -hmm. movies. You know, it was Ben-Hur ben as black and white. It was Ten Commandments in color. But he was a Christian artist. There mm -hmm. aren't that many Christian artists. So what we're trying to provide is a a way by which Christian mm -hmm. artists can actually get their work done. You're in the process of creating a large-scale production house in the Northeast. I I'm always curious when I hear about a place that's being put together in a place other than L.A. or New York, how you decide where you'll go, why you choose that area. You're going to, is it Pennsylvania you're going to be doing this in? Actually, it's Massachusetts. Massachusetts. And it's really, from our viewpoint, it is a calling from God. Really? Because uh, George Barna, who's our chairman, who's kind of the George Gallup of Christian polling, said, David, why aren't we going to North Carolina? Why aren't we coming down right, to Virginia right. where <laughs> it will be accepted? And I said, well, the Lord didn't plan on that. And so we're going to uh, Massachusetts. Interestingly enough, we're investigating in a feasibility study right now where the birthplace of Christianity, and we don't know how this happened, 
to be honest, we got a call from Massachusetts Business Development to say, would you consider looking at 1,000 acres in Plymouth, Massachusetts, which was the birthplace oh of word. Christianity in the Americas. So we feel that we are definitely being directed by the Lord wow. in this case. And at the same time, because we've led with the notion that we want to care about virtue and family values, uh, it's been amazing for such a liberal state. They've been incredibly uh, generous to us and open to us and accommodating and helpful to us. And so, again, if we can uh, create this place, which is a studio campus, the first green, the first uh, uh, smart a studio environment on earth that is integrated to raising a whole new generation of people who will actually work on the campus, young kids, uh, we think it's an important thing for the Lord. That is so exciting. Do you know what your first project will be? Uh, no, because uh, we're, uh, we're looking at some, what we're looking to do is to take the classics, much like the Walden model, who went did Holes and did Narnia. Uh -huh. We're looking at the children's and, 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 and Christian classics that have yet to be done. Wow. And so sort of leading with that. Mm -hmm. what, what advice do you have? I, I meet a lot of young kids who are Christian, young people who are Christian, who want to get into the entertainment field and, and don't have an option to do it the way that you're talking about. What advice would you give to a young Christian person who wants to get into the film industry, for right. example? I would say that uh, lead with your integrity, mm -hmm. uh, lead with the love that the Lord has given you, be authentic, um, and, uh, and lead with excellence. Um, that's really critical. And, 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 and not to be uh, a shy or afraid and be persistent, mm -hmm. because persistence, I mean, gosh, if I can uh, work inside the secular market and still try to make some good product, anybody can. We thank you for being with us and for what you're doing. We will watch with bated breath for the projects that come out of Massachusetts, the oh. Plymouth area. How exciting. David well, thank Kirkpatrick, you, thank you so much. Pleasure to be here. Great to have you here.